a bottom-up approach in crafting the open government agenda and commitments as opposed to the previous last consultation. As mentioned earlier, um, instead of um, the action plan, with commitments coming from agencies themselves, which are sent out to non-government partners or for, consult uh, for comment and consultation, um, what we did in the fifth um, national action plan is to have that citizen agenda, whereby a bottom-up approach is um, employed. Then also there is extensive consultation done nationwide, as mentioned earlier. The review of commitments to ensure that they address OGP values and result to transformative impact. GSO initiated commitments were also included. Um, examples of which are the, the Department of Education, the Department of Social Welfare and Development, the, the NCIP, or the Indigenous Peoples, the National Commission of Indigenous Peoples, and then support from OGP during committee members, both from the government and the non government side. A few challenges along the way were drawn on screen to draw into something that can be considered as an OGP commitment. For example, um, recognizing the rights of IPs, challenges in IPs or indigenous peoples, challenges in public contracting that result in delay in project implementation. Another challenge is cascading of information. There is a need to raise awareness on OGP at the local level and sustaining non-government participation in the co-creation process and in monitoring of commitments.